Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about the 1980 artsy horror film, Disconnected. This was a movie put out by Gorman Bichard, which you may recognize the name from Psychos in Love. If you enjoyed that, then you might like this movie. It also has Carmine Capabianco from Psychos in Love. I thought he was a really fun actor, so uh, it's sad that he died rather recently at a pretty young age. The movie is about this girl named Alicia, and she has a twin sister. And the twin sister is more outgoing, promiscuous, makeup, where Alicia is reserved, a little more mousy looking. It's still cute, but just, you know, not as done up. Um, she starts losing faith in her relationship and thinking that her boyfriend Mike is sleeping with her twin sister, and she starts calling him out on it. And she starts to get kind of on the fence with dating Mike. In the meantime, something weird at the beginning of the film happens. I don't really want to say too much. But then in the meantime, this guy meets her at this local, or he, he spots her, I should say, he doesn't meet her, at this local club where they play music, and her and her friends seem to go there a lot throughout the film. So there's a lot of like 80s indie rock or rock bands playing, and it's pretty catchy, and I do like the music, so that's kind of cool. But anyway, he sees her from a distance, he hears some of her conversation, I guess, and he picks up that she works at a video store. He starts going to all the video stores in the area until he finds her, and he kind of plays dumb, and then he eventually lets the cat out of the bag that he, you know, was attracted to her, and he wanted to get to know her, and that's how come he went there. Since she's on the fence now with her boyfriend, she starts to let this other guy into her life. They start going out on dates. But all this weird stuff starts happening around her. There's murders in her small town that start happening, and she keeps getting these strange phone calls with, like, uh, sounds, crazy sounds, and warped, kind of like, ringing, very disturbing, distorted noises, not like someone speaking, just crazy noises that, that sound jarring, and she hangs up, and it's starting to really, like, get to her, and she's starting to go crazy in a sense. She's starting to have nightmares. She's, again, now questioning whether her sister is maybe gaslighting her or doing this. Is the ex-boyfriend doing this? What's going on? And it's a short movie. It's only 84 minutes. The end of the film is sort of up for interpretation, but honestly, with the weird thing that happens at the beginning and the weird thing that they show you at the end, I feel it's telling you what happened. But some people like to say it's up for interpretation. Anyway, it all comes together in regards to what's happening with the murders, what's happening with the phone calls. They don't necessarily gel or tie in, but it's interesting. Some things are artsy-fartsy and left for interpretation. You can tell there's a little bit of a Hitchcock sprinkle on top of this because throughout the background of the film, there are Hitchcock posters and Marilyn Monroe posters and... They mention Hitchcock throughout the film and talk about his movies. So you can tell it's not really a straight slasher, even though there are some horror elements like that. It sort of has that mystery type of weirdness going on with some artsy shots. People are sleeping together, and while they're sleeping together, the camera like pans to another scene and just starts filming random things in the room. A dummy, a clock, a lamp, whatever. So there, there's a little bit of an artsiness, artsiness to it, but I like the film, and... I liked it a lot more this second viewing because I saw it, I think, uh, maybe a year ago on Tubi and I just was not in the mood for it and I did not appreciate it, but I like it way more now. So if you like the sort of quirky humor of Psychos in Love, but not a comedy the way Psychos in Love is, more of a horror movie with, again, an artsy feeling and like a mystery of what the hell is going on, you'll probably like this. It has a similar feel, but not extremely similar. It is newly scanned and restored in 2K. It has commentary tracks with Gorman Bichard, Carmine Capabianco, uh, a interview with Gorman Bichard, an interview with Carmine Capabianco, a director introduction, 20 questions with director Bichard, 20 questions and a Q&A from a festival screening in 2017, reversible cover art and English subtitles. So pretty well rounded there. Again, if you pick it up now, you're just going to get the Blu-ray. The old version has the DVD. Uh, I think at one point they came out with like a special edition slipcase that everyone's looking for now. 
Those don't really do much for me. But anyhow, Disconnected is a fun horror, thriller, art piece thing. I like it. I like Psychos in Love. I'm glad I picked up both films. And they're kind of nice, fun companion pieces to watch maybe after one another. They definitely have a similar tone in some way. And if you like seeing Carmine Capabianco, that's another reason. So it's not going to be for everyone, but it was for me. So let me know, guys, if you liked Disconnected, if you've seen it, or if you do see it and watch it on Tubi or Amazon or whatever, come back and let me know your thoughts. It's a short movie, so I'm sure you can make time. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.